I'm Jean, I'm a veterinary nurse for ASDA Pet Insurance Vet Helpline. I've been a veterinary nurse for 15 years and I'm here to help you care for your pet. Abdominal distension is one of the true veterinary emergencies. This is where the stomach fills either with food or with gas. The stomach itself then enlarges and has the potential to rotate, twist back on itself and therefore cut off the blood supply. This happens if the dog's perhaps gorged itself on too much food or it's had a meal and then it's been vigorously exercising with a full stomach. The classic signs of abdominal distension in the dog would be unproductive retching or retching and vomiting small amounts. You will also see that their tummy looks a lot larger than normal, though this would depend on the breed of the dog. Abdominal distension tends to happen mostly in what we call deep chested dogs. These can be your Great Danes, your Setters, your Greyhounds. However, any dog has the potential to have a distended abdomen. Any dog that you suspect has got this problem must be seen by the vet as soon as possible. There are ways that you can potentially hope to stop this happening and this would be not to feed your dog one meal a day, to feed its food allowance in either two or three small meals a day and never exercise after a meal. Heat stroke is another veterinary emergency. Dogs left in hot cars can often be susceptible to heat stroke and the temperature in the car can quickly rise. Leaving a window open on a warm day is not enough. Never leave your dog in a hot car. Dogs can also get heat stroke when they're lying in the garden in the hot sun, when they're lying in the conservatory, or if you exercise your dog in the heat of the day. This makes them susceptible to getting heat stroke. Certain breeds of dog with flat faces are more susceptible. They also the old dogs, the very young dogs, and sometimes dogs with underlying medical conditions, and fat dogs, overweight dogs. These are also more prone to getting heat stroke. The first sign of heat stroke in a dog is a dog's going to be panting, it's going to be salivating, its tongue's going to look red, its mouth's going to look red, it's going to feel very hot to the touch, it's going to be restless, it's going to be distressed. If not treated very quickly, it will go into a coma and it, has, it can die. What you need to do first is get your animal out of the situation, get it out of the car, get it out of the sun. It needs to be seen by the vet as soon as possible, but first of all you need to carry out some first aid. If the dog's conscious and it's panting, you can offer it some water, small amounts, not of awful, this will make it vomit. The dog needs to be cooled down with cool water, not iced. This can be a hose pipe. You can also use wet towels, a wet sheet. Particular points to remember are that the dog's groin is going to be very, very warm and that's going to be the quickest way to cool the dog down is to apply water to the groin and also to the head. The dog needs to go to the vet as quickly as possible, needs two people, want to keep a wet towel or sheet over the dog, over its head, over its body, not over its face. The first thing when attending to a dog that's been hit by a car, if it's in the road, do not put yourself at risk. Sometimes a dog can be hit by a car and it can run off and you can often think that the dog's okay but when a dog's in an accident, adrenaline will kick in, the fight and flight hormone, and even dogs with broken legs will be able to run. However, the dog will soon go into shock, and it's very quickly that the animal will deteriorate if this happens. Any dog that's been in a road traffic accident needs to be seen by the vet as soon as possible. If at all possible, the animal needs to be transported to the vet on a flat surface, this can be quite easily achieved with a small dog on a tray or perhaps a piece of wood. However, don't struggle with the dog. To put it into a blanket or a duvet to carry it on the back seat of the car is fine. It needs two people to transport the animal, one to give the animal reassurance while the other person's driving. 
Remember that an animal that's been hit by a car is going to have pain. They can react unpredictably and that often means that they could bite, so take care. If you see that the animal's got an obvious fracture, there's bone sticking out, just cover the area with a clean tea towel or a clean cloth and get them to the vet as quickly as possible. While they're being transported to the vet, don't hold them closely. The animal may have breathing difficulties and it needs air to get to its lungs, so give it space whilst keeping it warm. The first thing with prolapse dye is don't panic. Sometimes this can happen with the flat-faced breeds of dogs that have prominent eyes and it will often happen when the dog's been in a fight. The eye will dangle down the face. What's important is that the eye is protected from any further damage. The best way to do this is to get a damp tea towel and support the eye towards the face. Remembering that the animal is going to be frightened, it's going to be in pain, it's going to be inclined to snap. So you need to have somebody to help restrain the dog while you protect the eye because what we don't want is the animal scratching at the eye and it needs to be seen by the vet as quickly as possible. If you suspect your animal's been poisoned, it needs to be seen by the vet as soon as possible. Lots of everyday things that we keep in our homes can be poisonous to dogs. That can be from chocolate, to slug pellets, to weed killer, to medications that we take ourselves. What's important is that you don't try and make your dog vomit. Never give your dog salt water. It needs to go to the vet with as much information about the products it's ingested as possible. That means taking any packaging that may be available. For more information on ASDA Pet Insurance, please go to asda.com forward slash money.